I wanted to do a video speaking about inner healing and shadow work because I think a lot of people would benefit from understanding what this is exactly and why it's so beneficial because I see a lot of people on Instagram uh, and YouTube they're always talking about like inner healing and trauma healing and this and that but I feel like they beat around the bush and they don't really give you anything practical like what like what exactly does that mean and, and why should you do it and inner healing is really important to me because uh, I didn't really understand what it meant and then once I started seeing a therapist and I guess I sort of started healing without even realizing like that's what I was doing um, so to give you a simple definition of healing it's essentially just going back and this is sort of the same for shadow work it's essentially just going deep inside of your psyche and pulling out all of the things that you don't like about yourself all of the traumatic experiences that um, caused your behavioral patterns that you have now going back and exploring all the situations the negative experiences in life that caused you uh, certain that caused your conditioning and it caused you to act in a certain way and it's really all about just going in and exploring your past so for me when I started seeing my therapist about uh, it's been over a year now and I started talking about my childhood and all of the things that happened in my childhood that I didn't even necessarily think were anything that affected me negatively I started realizing how a lot of these things affected who I am and kind of caused a lot of negative beliefs I have about myself and caused uh, the way that I interact with other people and it affects a lot of my relationships today and especially the relationship I have with myself right so to give you an example like my dad growing up was very critical um, towards everyone and especially me he was very critical and very hard on me even when I was a small child and I would make simple mistakes he would get mad at me like as if I was a, an adult when I was still like learning just how to function you know and this caused me to grow up and be very critical on myself and be very hard on myself even when I make simple mistakes so in this case the healing was going back and acknowledging that this happened and that I went through this as a child and this is why I act this way today this is why I'm so hard on myself today right and the, so the thing with healing and shadow work is like you have to go for the first step is you have to acknowledge uh, the, the things that you the way that you act today you have to acknowledge the negative behavioral patterns okay you have to take accountability that's really important and then what you want to do is you want to go back in time to when you were a child for me a lot of it was actually when I was a teenager as well it wasn't just like inner child it was uh, inner, inner teenager too and uh, you need to go back to these times and you have to look at certain incidences and the thing is they're gonna pop up randomly they're not if you try to sit down and answer shadow work questions or you try to sit down it's not necessarily gonna come up when you're trying to look for it it comes up at random times and you got to go back and you have to acknowledge all of these things that happened and you have to acknowledge the way that it formed you and shaped you into the person you are today so it's just a matter of going back and looking through, sort of doing a uh, personal inventory of all the negative experiences you've had in life and trying to face them, being honest with the way that you felt in the time that they happened. A lot of the, a lot of the stuff is going to have to do with your parents. Most of it's going to have to do with your parents um, and your surroundings, like your school peers. So like, for instance, if you were bullied, that's going to be huge. Um, if you've dealt with bullying, that's something that you're going to have to face and you're going to have to be honest about. If your parents uh, were neglectful, if they emotionally abused you in any way, um, if you were sexually abused by an adult, uh, these are all the types of things that you're going to have to really try to go back and, and like detail like really think about in detail and uh, and be honest with the way you felt at that time and how it made you feel and you have to do this a lot too like you have to sometimes go back and revisit the same instances multiple times because healing is a very long process it takes uh it's a, a marathon it's it's a journey 
It could take a very long time. But it's worth it. Because that's ultimately, like, inner healing is what's going to set you free. And if you've been watching my other videos, you know that, you know, I'm, I'm a huge advocate of letting go. The letting go technique. But I think that that's only one part of it. I think that the, uh, you know, sitting with how you feel is really important. But I think also sort of exploring... Uh, a lot of the past events that you've had is is super important and I think that having a therapist um, or a life coach or somebody you could talk to I've mentioned before is very very crucial and I think it could be very extremely beneficial and if that's not something that you're open to doing right now or if you can't afford it or you don't have health insurance or whatever journaling okay because journaling can unravel a lot of repressed stuff that you have stuck inside of there. Just think about uh, any kind of traumatic, of, and that's the thing, like, I'm going to say traumatic event, but I wouldn't even say, like, trauma is not necessarily just events. Trauma is it, something called complex trauma. It's little things that happen over a long period of time. Especially if you had a narcissistic parent, if you grew up with, uh, a parent that might have been an addict or even a sibling that was an addict or somebody that maybe was in your family was manipulating you in some way that might not be the type the same type of trauma if you were like sexually abused once but that's called complex trauma it's trauma that uh, happened over a very long period of time sometimes not all at once it was more spread out um, so I lost my train of thought but yeah, so, oh, journaling. So if you're journaling, write about these things and really get into detail. Like, write, try to write as much detail as you can and explore this and explore, like, why do you think that these things affected you negatively? How did they make you feel? How do they make you feel today? Why do you think you act in a certain way? Why do you think maybe you're so quick to enter into romantic relationships? Or why are you so avoidant of romantic relationships? Why do you have trouble maybe building connections with other people? Why do you get easily offended? Um, why are you so, why do you have a lot of shame and guilt? I promise you all of these things that you experience tie back into childhood in some way, shape or form. Because everything that we think and the way that we act is all just conditioning of our past experiences. Um, nothing we really do is, we do, by our own uh, our own doing it's it's all conditioning so I'm kind of going off the top of my head here so sorry if I'm rambling a little bit um, but that's what I wanted to talk about with healing oh and when you do start to heal and these things don't really cause you any more kind of emotional dis discomfort and you're able to sort of break this conditioning and these behavioral patterns because you see through the uh, illusion of them and you understand that they were just products of of what happened from when you were a child um, you're able to sort of reframe the narrative of that situation and you can look at it from a more positive mindset and you understand that whatever happened to you was just no matter how bad it was it was just an unfolding of events and it wasn't necessarily anybody's fault um, because you don't want to blame people when you're doing this. You want to have a lot of forgiveness. You want to have a lot of compassion for yourself. And you want to be able to forgive the people that were involved. And whoever made you feel this way. Because holding on to anger and hatred. Especially towards your family members or whoever. Whatever happened to you. Um, it's only going to make this healing process harder. I would say forgiveness and compassion are the two biggest keys to making this work which is something I didn't want to face for the longest time. And I finally learned to forgive my dad and forgive other people that have hurt me in the past. And it really is so liberating and freeing because these people can no longer affect you. So the first step is acknowledging your triggers, the things that trigger you. Just pay attention to this throughout the day. Like what are some things that bring you anxiety or fear or emotional discomfort um, what are some things like do you get easily offended and by who and why maybe there's certain personality traits that you get really turned off of start questioning these things it's, it's all about having a lot of self-awareness and so acknowledge, acknowledgement is the first key 
and then being honest with yourself is very important and having a lot of compassion towards yourself while you're doing this and then doing the letting go technique about because this is all going to bring up a lot of emotions for you so being just make sure like the key to healing is feeling everything that your body needs to feel or that your mind you know that's going to come up for you because it's going to bring up a lot of emotions and you need to be able to feel this um, and just sort of let it be there be be indifferent to it don't judge it and don't condemn the feelings um, just simply recognize it and let it be and once you do that you'll be you'll, you won't be viewing all of the things that happen to you from such a negative standpoint you'll be able to sort of reframe them as an unfolding of events and also you'll be able to view them as they all happen for a very specific reason they happen to maybe teach you something or to help you grow stronger it's what I've come to learn I was always very angry about my childhood and the way I grew up and you know certain things that happened to me but now I look at them all as they all happened for a reason because they turned me into who I am today which I'm very you know I'm very pleased with the direction that things are going and that I'm now able to talk about this stuff and help other people um, every situation can be viewed as from a positive uh, light no matter how bad it may seem um, but when your mind is very diluted by just anger and hatred and fear and negativity you're not going to be able to do that um, so those are just some thoughts on healing and shadow work to do shadow work look up shadow work prompts on google and you'll get some questions of things you can, questions you could sort of ask and things you can explore from your childhood. And this has been really helpful for me. Um, and the other thing about healing is, uh, what else did I want to say? Oh, you're going to notice your behavioral patterns are going to start changing because you're going to be more aware of them. And you're going to be like, oh, I'm getting easily offended by this because of something that happened to me in childhood. And you're going to start recognizing these things more regularly. That was one of the things that I like. I like that the most about it. You're going to be able to sort of change. Like this is how like people say like I'm working on myself and I'm going to change. Or like in, a, in an abusive relationship, they say I'm going to change. They don't actually change. This is how you change. Going back and reframing the narrative. That's how you change. And um, uh, this was sort of just like a off the top of my head kind of video. I didn't really have any notes or anything. So I hope I'm not leaving anything out. But I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. Um, feel free to let me know what you think. Uh, please talk to me about your experience with uh, inner healing. I'm, I'm still learning. Um, like I said, that I highly, I can't recommend enough getting someone to talk to because expressing these things, you're going to be able to unravel the story uh, a lot better than you would just by yourself or in your own mind. Um, or, or, I mean, journaling is good, but I think for me personally, I did a lot better with talking about it. You have the thing with finding a good therapist or life coach is it's going to take, you're going to have to shop around possibly. You're going to, it's going to take some trial and error. You got to find someone that you are very, feel very connected to someone you feel like you could tell anything to. That's very important. Um, and I was very lucky enough to find that, uh, with a, a young girl who lives in, in California. Uh, she, I feel like I can literally tell her anything. And I do. I've told her everything. I don't. You got to be very honest when you do therapy, or if you're journaling. You, it's it, it's hard. It's really hard to be honest with yourself at first. Um, but you, that's one of the key things. You have to be able to take accountability, and you have to be very honest. Uh, so, those are my thoughts on what inner healing is. And if you are more experienced in this field, I'd be very happy to hear your thoughts about it. I'm working on learning more about inner healing and I'm hoping to work with people to help them heal their traumas uh, it's something I'm very passionate about um, so that's something maybe hopefully I'll be doing some coaching in the near future and yeah please let me know your thoughts I appreciate you tuning in and as always thank you for listening